Within ReBarCAD, there is a multitude of configurations that can be carried out to tailor the product to your specification. To do this, we first go into the Configuration Center. Within the bars, we can then change the layers that the bars are put on and the colors of the bars as well, whether or not we want to display the bend, how we round the bars up and down, how we match them together, and also how we want to control the overstock length feature. In the range configuration you can change which layers the ranges are put on and if you want to have additional text for staggering and alternate ranges. You can prompt for offsets on the actual range lines and even decide on the snaps used when drawing a range. The support files show all of the support files that are used on this job. Global configuration gives you all of the above configuration plus much more. Changing the configuration lets you decide which standard you want to use. Couplers configuration lets you decide what layers things are placed on. whilst the miscellaneous configuration lets you do more miscellaneous configuration including writing the settings to keep them. You can configure the bar list through here as well. Finally, we can change the label configuration we decide what layers we want the labels to go on, if we want to default yes or no for the label, and the height of the text used. We can configure how the ticks and tags are displayed. We can look at the leaders and define whether or not we want an arrow, a dot, or just a blank line, and this can also be added to the ranges. To change a label, we pick on the label format command. In this case, we are going to add a diagram at the end of the label, which will show the bar and the dimensions. Once we've done this, we redraw the bars on the screen. Here, you can see on the end of the label, we now have an additional field which shows a diagram of the bar shape and the dimensions applied to it.